Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Benasha, Wisconsin. <sighs> Today is January 21st. I'm excited to be here with you tonight. Here comes all my people. Everybody just popped on the screen. Well, not everyone, but four of you. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Uh, it was an exciting weekend for football fans, right? And some of it's still going on right now, I'm pretty sure. There's another game. Yeah, I see everybody coming in. Sarah and Pam and Carol. We've got a whole bunch of people here. Oh, I can tell you that I'm finally like able to take a breath. I'm really happy to be here with you. <laughs> it was a mad dash to the finish line tonight, I'll tell you. I had um, a whole bunch of deadlines that I needed to meet this week. Um, I have virtual groups that I'm in that I have to create projects for. That's how I come up with the, uh, the PDF files that I can send to you. I'm in groups with other demonstrators and we each have to contribute one. And so I had a bunch of those deadlines coming. Hello, Valerie. I see Haley's on here and Val says she loves you and she misses you. I just saw her today. <laughs> I love her. I miss you too, Val. I hope you had fun at the Gamblers game. Val and the family went to the Gamblers game, which is a semi-pro hockey team in Green Bay. And her favorite um, Paw Patrol characters were there today. And I see she got her picture taken with them. I'll bet you that was so exciting. The kids just love Paw Patrol. And I've watched it a few times. It's a good little program. So I was happy she got to go do that. Melanie, I'm so sorry that you're sick. Doggone it. Hi, Alex. I'm happy to see you in here. Um, yeah, Val says they did have fun. So yay. I wish I could have gone with you. I was working all day, like pretty much most of the day. Um, I went over to Haley and Jared's house this morning to finalize some plans for spring break. And the, then you guys are going to be so proud of me because I am pretty much packed for my trip tomorrow. And uh, that usually never happens till about midnight the night before I leave. So I am ahead of the game there, which is super exciting. I also got pulled over today for speeding. Yeah. And um, like in my defense, which doesn't matter, I thought the speed limit was 40 miles an hour. But um, it was actually 35 miles an hour and I was going 45. But the very handsome young police officer was so nice to me. I could not find my insurance and registration. <laughs> such an idiot. I, um, yeah, Kathy goes, whoops. Yeah, I know. Um, oh, Nancy fell down some stairs. I'm so sorry. Er, I'm so sorry. That's, that, that's not good. Um, yeah, speed racer. <laughs> so, so, um, I couldn't find my registration and my insurance stuff. I knew it was in the glove compartment. Steve takes care of all that stuff and he's meticulous. So the officer said, why don't you just email it to me? He must have thought that I looked pretty honest. <laughs> and um, he asked me where I was going. I said, I just visited my grandbaby, so I'm on my way home. Yeah, doesn't he know I'm a celebrity? No clue. <laughs> I don't think he would have cared. But anyways, while he was checking my driver's license, he came up back up and asked, you got any uh, traffic violations? I said, no, I have nothing. And um, I got a speeding ticket way back in the 80s. That's my last traffic violation. That's the only ticket I've ever gotten. And um, so he said I could just email it to him. And while he was back checking my license, he said, or I, I called Steve. I'm like, Steve, where's insurance and registration? He goes, it's in the black binder. Well, there's a owner's manual in a zip up black little case thing. And I, I don't know why I didn't think to look in there, but I just expected it to be laying in the glove compartment. We don't use the glove compartment, so it should just be laying there. Anyways, I found it. And when he came back up to give me my license back, I said, here's all my stuff. I'm sorry. And he's like, you need to slow down. I'm like, yeah, I know. So um, I should have been wearing my crown. <laughs> he probably would have arrested me. He'd have given me a drunk driving <laughs> test. <laughs> 
But anyways, I didn't get a ticket. He gave me a warning. He was really nice and he was pretty cute. So he had that going for him too, which meant nothing for me, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, I haven't been pulled over since like the 80s. I got pulled over one time because my headlight was out and I didn't know it. And I had all the kids, not Haley. She wasn't born yet. Well, maybe she was. Yeah, she was a little one. She was a toddler. I had all the kids in the car. We were going trick-or-treating, and I got pulled over for a burnt-out headlight. So that was kind of funny. But other than that, I've been good. You guys like my fish tank? That is a screensaver. And yeah, they're moving like it's fish. And so I'm feeling a little tropical. However, I just got a warning from United. I know, Haley said there's a whole bunch of officers that sit on that road. And I know that, but I really thought that the speed limit was... 40 miles an hour and it's only 35 because it's a little bit out in the country but now I know anyways um there there's a there's a, a weather warning for tomorrow in Chicago and I'm hoping that we get out of Chicago before that weather hits because we fly out of Appleton to Chicago and then somebody said where are you going we're going to Mexico we're going to Cancun tomorrow so I will not be live next Sunday just so you guys know um but yeah, so I've been going crazy trying to get everything ready. And the last thing I had to do today was a blog hop coming next Friday. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love it. This is the mess from what I made for the blog hop. So aren't those pretty colors? Yeah. Watch for that on Friday. It'll post at 3 in the afternoon central time on my blog. So, and there'll be a YouTube video that goes live with it too. Uh, not, but it's not a live. It's just a pre-recorded um, video. So I had to get that done today. Like so many things. It's so hard to leave when nobody's left here to do your work, right? And you guys see, I still got my Christmas lights up. So yeah, I'm still feeling kind of festive and my little snowman guy, cause I love him. And there's my snowman candle that Haley gave me. Love it. Yeah. This is Steve's birthday trip. Yes. I, I gave him a trip to Cancun, right? But he had to take me. <laughs> I really needed a vacation. So we're calling it Steve's birthday trip. But don't tell anybody because I needed a vacation too. He needs a vacation too. So he's been working all day on getting the receipts together for the insurance company. The garage is done now and he is ready for things to start being delivered here to fill it up with all the things that the man needs. So um, he's been working on that all day. So he's feeling pretty good too. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> did Marcia just say she still got her tree up? Well, Haley just took theirs down like a couple days ago. It's so pretty, right? And it just looks so nice in their living room. I like Christmas. I like Christmas trees and decorations. And um, I have all of mine pretty much put away. So, oh, Denise says she has a great granddaughter born last Monday. Congratulations, Denise. Oh, my gosh. Being a granny is probably the highlight of my life. Seriously, like it's so different from being a parent because when you're a parent, you have all the stresses of life and you have to take care of the children 24 seven. Being a granny is like the best thing ever because you don't have all those stresses happening um, and they don't usually stay for very long. Which means you don't have to do all the planning. Not that I don't want them to stay. Valerie, I love you very much. But that you don't have to do all the planning of all the hours of all the days and the weeks, right? It's just wonderful. I love it. So, um, I have some pretty cool projects for you guys tonight. We are going to do quick and simple cards. I have some really fun layouts. I've got a fun fold. And I have prizes to give away. And I just took some ibuprofen because it's like my vision is really weird for the last couple days. It feels like my eyes are crossing. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need a vacation. I think I should go to Cancun tomorrow. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Shelby says she only has the top third of her tree up and decorated for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's really cute. I like it. Thanks to her cat. The bottom went to garbage. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, Steve said he just cleaned out the refrigerator and he just cleaned out the cat litter. So that's all ready to roll. Jared's going to come over and monitor the cats and, um, and take care of the garbage cans. They have to go out by the curb. So it's just good to have people, right? We have the best people ever. 
So, um, prizes. How about some prizes, you guys? Yay! All right, bring on the fun. Audrey says, bring on the fun. Okay, so, oh, I asked Steve about a John report. I said, do you have a John report for me before I went live? He goes, nope, nothing. He's, I think he's just really preoccupied with all the things he has to do because he's been doing all the things. I've been pretty much in here working except for when I was packing and then I had to run a few errands and get pulled over by the cute cop and all those things. <laughs> I was really lucky. So um, anyways, prizes. Give me a thumbs up. Click on that like button, please. That really helps me out in all the analytics. And I give away prizes because when you do that, um, that helps me. Oh, I give away prizes for comments. So if you're new to me, leave me a comment and you will get entered in the prizes the next time I am live, which probably won't be until February 4th. I don't know if I'll be live the week I come back. It depends on how buried I am. Um, I have to get the watermelon class out of here when I get home. I had hoped to get that accomplished, but that did not happen. So please give me a thumbs up. Click that like button. Oh my gosh, I have these beautiful, beautiful blooming pearls. These are so pretty. These are going out for comments left last week. This is going to Mary Wessling. Mary is from Kansas City, Missouri. And um, Kansas City plays next weekend or tonight. When do they play? When is Kansas City playing? Steve told me. Next weekend? I don't know, but our Packers lost last night. Yeah, so that was kind of sad. I told Steve when the fourth quarter started, I said, they're going to blow this. I just know they are, and and that's what happened. But we were really proud of them for even being in there. Kansas City's playing right now. Go Chiefs. Um, so Mary Wessling, these are going to be on their way to you um, possibly next week. If I can get them done tonight, I will, because I don't have labels made yet. Last minute, I went, door prizes. So I had to go run and get them. Um, the Lions won today. Steve was really excited about that because his grandpa was a Lions fan. He was from Upper Michigan, so he was a big Lions fan. So he was like, happy the Lions won. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was it was a valiant loss for the for the um, Packers. Like they played really good. We did not expect them to be in a playoff game. It's a very young team. We lost Aaron Rodgers and all the things, you know. So, oh, Kansas City is down by four. Is that yeah? I think that's oh, and we have some Buffalo fans. Okay, yay. Uh, Sharon says she hasn't seen my lives in quite a while. Well, I am glad you're here tonight. Yay. Um, next up, squirrel. Scalloped gift card boxes, you guys. These are the bomb. They are so stinking cute. And I'll show you some samples. But before I do that, let's get through the prizes. Uh, for sharing my video someplace on your screen. Oh, I see we have Australia in the house. Someplace on your screen is a share button. If you could click on that share button, that would be awesome. When you share this to wherever, it's going to ask you where you want to share it to. Share it to Facebook, share it to wherever it says. Um, that really helps me grow my business, and I appreciate that. For sharing last time, we have Sally Millions from Moreland, Georgia. Sally, I do have your address. I also have Mary Westling's address. But Sally Millions from Moreland, Georgia, you're going to get these fantastic scalloped gift card boxes. There are 10 of them in here. So I'm excited to send those to you. Next, for placing orders. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. I know everybody's talking about my screensaver. It's tropical because that's where I want to be. <laughs> um. Next up for placing an order, I have Hooray for Surprises. This is an awesome little stamp set. We use this in our catalog kickoff, so there's a whole bunch of ideas on there. If you are a Stamp Happy Academy member and or you attended the catalog kickoff, which was a complete virtual um, event, anybody all over the world could, could play with us, there's a bunch of ideas using this. And there's a set of dies. I just have the stamp set to give away. This stamp set for orders placed between last week and this week goes to Terry. I'm sorry, not Terry. Sorry, Terry's. I know everybody's like, Terry who? 
Tammy Melzer. Tammy Melzer from Sandy, Utah. This is going to be on its way to you. I'm super excited. Oh, somebody says my nails look great. Do you want to see them? Yeah, there's a cute little flower on that one. And then I have silver on that one. The rest of them are plain. I wanted to go with something that was kind of a little um, tropically looking. And I think I knocked it out of the park. However, I had to paint my own toenails today. <laughs> I know, poor me, woohoo, because I couldn't find time to go get my toes done, so I just painted them, I just painted them myself, and they're, you know, they're whatever, they're on my feet, who cares, right, I figured nobody's gonna know, <laughs> all right, congratulations to all of our winners, I'm gonna throw that over there, um, yeah, I don't think I have really any more news. I said that I would share some of these little scallop gift card boxes with you. So I'm gonna turn this camera around. I'm gonna move my iPad over here so I can see your comments still coming in. Thank you guys so much for the shares. I really appreciate it. I see shares coming in. My nails are Cancun Aqua, Judy says. Uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> And the Cancun residents are going to love them, right? So um, let me flip you around. Oh, hang on. We are going to Cancun. We're going to stay at the Royal Solaris, which is a resort in Cancun. And it's also a resort that Steve and I vacationed at 23 years ago. 23 years ago. Hang on. I got this all messed up. Don't look at my mess over there. We'll go over here where it's clean. Right? Um, 23 years ago, we went to the Royal Solaris with our neighbors from across the street, Fred and Nona. We were really good friends with them. They were quite a bit older than us, and they have both passed away, sadly. But um, super, super nice people. We had such a good time. And so I said to Steve, do you want to go to the Royal Solaris? And he's like, yeah, sure. And I said, okay. So look at these, you guys. These are scalloped gift card boxes. And I made these with the Hey Chuck stamp set. So I just thought I'd show them to you as long as I gave them away tonight. Here is a matching card. This is the masterfully made. I think that's what it's called. Designer series paper that I used with this. So we've got mm, Hey Chuck here. And these were super duper cute. You'll find all of, you'll find a video tutorial and all the dimensions and everything what I use on my blog, which is at www.estampabuff.com. By the way, as long as I'm right here, this is my current host code. Tonight's projects are not part of a card kit. Um, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing card kits for orders of $35 or more. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second because I said that my last, I'll talk about it in a minute. Anyways, this is my current host code. This is my blog. You'll find everything that I make on these videos on my blog. Okay, so here's my cute, I put a little Velcro attachment right here to keep this closed, okay? And here is the inside of my little gift card box. Your gift card fits right inside these little slits here. That's everything that comes in this package. You just fold them up and voila, they are. I love this screaming rooster. He is so funny. Again, Hey Chuck with masterfully made designer series paper. Look at this. Ha! Ah, isn't that pretty? Yeah. This is just a little belly band. Lots of good ideas for how to decorate these. So we'll set that over there. Um, let's see. Here comes this one. Ooh, this is a fun fold. Hang on. Here we go. Look at that. So this fits right in that window. Again, this is on my blog. You'll find all the directions for these. I love this kind of card, right? It's so fun. And which one went with this? I don't even know. <gasps> Look how cute that is, right? Again, with the Velcro clasp on there. And then we have this one, which is the same card. It's just a different color. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And then here's another little belly band. Super duper cute. I love these scalloped gift card boxes they are so stinking adorable and they're pretty sturdy like they're not chintzy at all they're really nice 
those are in our annual catalog. So let me get these put back over in my little bin so I don't lose track of them. When I have a birthday, these are going to be the first to go. And my stepdaughter, Stephanie's birthday is the 28th. So, and one of my really good friend's birthdays is today, the 21st. Yay. All right. These were the cards from last week that we made. Do you remember these? The watermelon cards? These are made with a watercolor melon stamp set. And it is free with celebration. It's right here. When your order hits $50, you can choose this for free or the other items in this brochure. Um, these cards are going to be sent out in a kit. When you place an order with me, you have to use the host code, okay? And um, your order has to be $35 or more. And I have extended my date to January 31st. So this is going to be the last kit. I'm doing three card kits a month. This is the last kit. If you are a Stamp Happy Academy member, you have the PDF available on the Stamp Happy Academy website. So you'll find it there. You get all the dimensions, all the, all the fun things. And then... You will find all the information about my kits on my blog. So $35 gets you the kit with a PDF file for the projects. $50 will get you the kit plus a global PDF. And you get a PDF um, of additional stamping ideas, not with the watermelon set, but with other things. $75 gets you the kit, the global PDF, and the embellishments. And I use the sparkling gems. So you get a whole pack of those when your order goes over $75. If your order is over $150, you do not use this code. You will automatically qualify for the kit with the embellishments and the PDF for placing a large order. So I want you to get your own stamp and rewards when you're putting in big orders. So just know that, okay? And again, all of these PDFs are on Stamp Happy Academy. You get a free basic membership to Stamp Happy Academy when you join my team and place your first discount order. So that's pretty cool too. And that is a huge, big deal. Lavender Dreams. We are using the lavender, the perennial lavender suite of products to do a huge stamp camp. It's going to be three days, February 23rd, 24th, and 25th. It is all virtual, meaning doesn't matter where you live in the world, you can, you can take this fun stamping event from us. Um, Dina, Barb, and I have put this together, and there's going to be, like, framed art. There's an exclusive supply tote. Um, a, we're going to decorate a notepad. You're going to get enough card stock to do 12 cards plus a box set of cards with a box. It's going to be fantastic. This is going to be phenomenal. All the information, look for this graphic on my blog. All the information is there. It's a two-part registration. You place a $150 order in my store. This is the only time you're going to use this particular host code, not that one, this one, if your order is over $150. You have to use this code to do the Lavender Dreams. Um, and then the swag box will be invoiced separately. It is $65. So you're going to order your product. Everything's listed, what you'll need. Or if you have this stuff, you can order whatever you want to get up to $150. Then you're going to register for the Stamping Escape. I will invoice you for $65. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, but again, you must use this host code, and it is on the registration form. This is all on my blog. This is going to be phenomenal. If you're outside the United States, you cannot get the swag box. We cannot ship product outside the United States, but you can take the Stamping Escape via PDF. And um, there'll be a Facebook group. We're going to have a lot of fun in here. Okay, let me get my funny glasses off that I use to read my, <laughs> my messages on my phone. Mary Lynn said she is so excited about the Stampin' Escape. Um, it has been really fun watching the registrations come in. There's a lot of people really excited. And the, the event isn't until February 23rd, so um, we've got a little time yet, but you don't want to mess around if you plan on taking it because there is going to be a point where I close my registration. 
So I get to a certain number. I haven't decided what that number is going to be yet, but I will close it just so I can order supplies and be ready to roll. By the way, the swag box um, is going to be mailed prior to the event, and we are going to do our best to mail it so that you have it by the time the event takes place. Now, with that being said, we are not in charge of the U.S. Post Office. So um, we don't like to make promises that it's going to be there, but that is our, our intent. That is our intent is to get it there before the event so you will have all your stuff, which is super exciting. Plus, you're ordering the product, so it's going to come directly to you. The swag box is the only thing you're going to be waiting for. Okay. I have got Flight and Airy. This, you guys, is one of the celebration. Uh, hang on a second. I'm seeing questions here that just popped up. Um, Margaret wants to know, whereabouts on the Stamp Happy Academy do you find the PDF? It is where the rest of the PDFs are at, Margaret. So once you get to Stamp Happy Academy, I think there's a tab that says Classes. And when you hover over that, a dropdown comes up that says PDFs. Don't click on Classes. Just hover over it drop down, click on PDF. You're going to find all the PDFs for my um, kits on there. So I'm glad you asked that. Thank you so much. Just checking to see. No one is in charge of the post office, Mary Lynn says. I know, I know. And, you know, for the most part, they try to do their best. But, you know, there's been some issues. So, um here is that flight and airy paper. I've put, put together a little DSP sampler here. Look at all the coordinating colors. I love having this palette here. So we're going to be using this for a really fun layout. Um, these are the opaque faceted gems. And guess what, you guys? This paper is free with a $50 order. If your order hits $100, you can get this paper free and these gems. They're kind of hidden right here. You almost don't notice them, but they are another free item. So as you're going through the brochure, look for those circles that say free in them. Um, another thing that is free in here is the um, ribbon, the crinkled ribbon right here. You almost miss it because it's not like a big thing on the page, but this is also another free celebration item. So, okay. I've got some linen thread here. We might use that. We might not. And then I've got the Softly Sophisticated Bundle. Let me go back to this. We've got all kinds of things. I, I didn't realize I was using so many celebration items. This, you get the stamp set and the embossing folder free with a $100 order. And there's no limit to how many of these items you can get. Wink, wink. I know that always like stuns me, but yeah, if you put in a $300 order, you can get $60, $50 items or three $100 items or mix and match. It's pretty crazy. All right, my ink pads that I'm using here today, I'll try to keep this right here. I've got Petal Pink, Pecan Pie, and Soft Sea Foam. I've also got the one in, I should wipe this off. It gets all yucky with um, glue one and three quarter inch circle punch, and also the handmade tag punch that we're going to be using for this card. I'll bet you I forgot. Oh, a scrap in there. I'm like, don't fall. Okay, here comes our bits and pieces. And hang on here. I'm going to hang up my little dimensions. By the way, all of the items that I'm making today um, will be posted later on my blog. There is a link directly under this video. If you guys look on the video, it's like if I'm looking right here, it starts saying hashtag Kelly Atchison more. And when you click on that more, it opens up all the links to all the places, which makes it really convenient. So you don't have to go digging around and looking up websites and all that crazy. There's a link to shop with me. There's a link. Um, new January. Oh, that shouldn't even be on there. Let's get rid of that. I'll get rid of that later. There's no mini catalog class. That's over with. Um, you can get the glass mat that you're looking at right here. When you join my team, you can be a discount shopper or you can build a business, whatever you want to do. Um, but you get this glass mat for free, or you can add $30 extra to your kit when you join. 
The host code that's right here is under the video. It also talks about my kits and the, you know, you got to order 35 and 50 or 75, whatever. And there's a shop link. Yeah, okay, so I got all the things right under the video. All right, we are starting out with a um, boho blue card base. <laughs> Connie says, join Kelly's team. It's the best. It really is. You guys would love it. Not even kidding. Um, boho blue, four and a quarter by 11. And <laughs> the Kansas City is 20. It's 20 to 17 Kansas City bills right now. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> um, I've scored this at five and a half. So we're going to go ahead and burnish that score line with our bone folder. I always like a good crisp score line. I've also got a scrap of boho blue. I'm going to need a scrap of basic white. Let me dig out my little scrap bin here. Yeah, I have a lot of scraps. I keep those when I cut up my classes. Scrap of white, scrap of boho blue. Then I've got two basic whites that are four by five and a quarter. And the designer series paper. So I've got a piece of the pretty little blue. I love this like watercolory type image. It looks like a watercolor wash, which is what I did today for my Emboss Resist card for Friday's blog hop. Make sure you check it out. Okay, <laughs> so DSP, this is one by four and three quarters. And you guys, this is a really cool layout that you can do with just about anything. This piece of designer series paper is one and a half by four. And then this particular piece is three and a half by one and a half. I love the ruler on here. I'm just starting, I'm starting to get used to it now. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take one of these layers and we are going to emboss it. So where did my folder go? Right here, softly sophisticated. This is one of the free celebration items. And I like to use that line that's up, up, right by that logo to get this on here straight because this is a definite pattern. I don't want my cardstock to be in there kitty wampus. And there's your redneck word of the day. <laughs> so we're going to emboss this. And this is a 3D folder, by the way. It is a thicker folder. And it's fantastic. So here's our embossed layer. And let's do our stamping right away. Um, ink pads right here. Hello. Hello, ink pads. We are going to stamp our sentiment. Oh, I'm like, where's my stamp set? I got my stamp set right here. We're going to do a little hello there. I love allocation cards because I can do a lot with them. And it seems like I need those a lot. So now I'm going to take that one and three quarter inch punch. I rock the acrylic block. Thank you so much. That made my day, Tracy. And we're going to punch that right out of the middle. So isn't that a pretty font? I really like this a lot. And then let me see if I can get some more light in here. Then we're going to take our soft sea foam. I wanted this to be very pale. We've got this two-step stamping. So these flowers get stamped and the leaves, you can see there's holes in there for the flowers. But what I did is I stamped just some little leaves on here. So I'm gonna use this big part down here and I just want some little leaves coming in here. See that? And so that's how I'm kind of decorating this up. So we're gonna do, I don't want that little leaf over there to get on there, so. I think I'm gonna take some tape and cover that up because I already got ink on it. <laughs> and then I'll do this. Yay. So see what I did there? Yeah, I'll take that tape off and throw that away. And now before I make a mess out of everything, I'm gonna grab my cleaning cloth that comes with the glass mat and I'm gonna wipe that ink off. Okay, so we've got that. Then our inside layer, I'm going, oh, Where's my, hang on, I've got that in a different bin. I need to find, 
I really appreciate you. We've got hello there, and then I really appreciate you. And I'm going to do this in the pecan pie. I'm gonna put that right here in the middle. That turned out really good. Let me clean that off because that goes in with a different set. Different card we're making tonight. Okay, then I'm going to grab these two flowers. We're not gonna do the third one. We're just gonna do two of them. And I'm gonna do those. Uh, you know what, maybe, no, I'm going to do all of them. I'm going to do all the flowers. I was just going to put two flowers right here, but I think I'm going to stamp the leaves and the flowers. So let's just do that. Got this right here. And then we've got um, Petal Pink. And this is a two-step stamp set. So what I look at on here is that little bud that's right there. And of course, this flower goes in this space right here, but I really look at that little bud and then I start moving the big flowers so that they're not stamped over the greenery. <gasps> oh, I did really good. Look how pretty that is. Again, this is a free bundle. The um, stamp set and the, well, you know what? We should do an envelope too. Let's do that. The stamp set and the embossing folder. How many of you have this bundle? Let's ask that. It's been really popular. I'm gonna do this again. Stamp my flowers in the soft sea, or my leaves in the soft sea foam and my flowers in the petal pink. See, I do that. I line that butt up first and then I look at the rest of the flowers and they'll fall right into place. Ah, <gasps> so pretty. The other thing that I want to do is I love an embossed envelope. I just think it's really classy. So I like to emboss the flap on my envelope. So what you do there, you want to make sure that your envelope flap is on the side with the logo because that's going to emboss it. If you turn it this way, it's going to get debossed. Okay, we want it to be embossed. And I just line the fold up with the edge of the image for the embossing folder. And you can see this one doesn't go all the way to the edge. The embossed image stops prior to the edge. So I would go like this, keep it in place and run it through your machine. And when you do that, it looks like this. And isn't that so pretty, right? I love this. I didn't stamp the front of this one. So I'm going to do that while I'm here. Because I'm making two cards, I need two envelopes. I already made one of these, right? And now I'm making another one for you. Sometimes I don't do that, but most of the time I do because otherwise I feel like a complete cluster. That's when things can go south fast. When I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do. There we go. Pretty, pretty. Okay, enough about envelopes. Yeah, Audrey says it's so fun for the envelope. It really is. Like, who doesn't like to open up their mailbox and see pretty right away? Okay, um, we're gonna get this. Let's move that out of the way. We've got all of our things cleaned up here, so we're not gonna have any disasters. Looking for my glue. Susan says she has this bundle. She hasn't used it yet. You're going to have to get it out, Susan, because these car this layout is really pretty. And the paper, I have blown through this paper. Like, I've used so much of it, I need to get some more. And that hardly ever happens for me with celebration. Like, I always have tons of celebration paper, not this stuff. I'm like, I'm almost out. I'm out of several patterns of this Flight and Airy Designer Series paper which is just like, it's a very foreign feeling for me. I had somebody ask me if I could, if they could, if I could spare a couple sheets because they have a class they're doing. And um, I'm like, yeah, no problem. I go, look, uh, no, I don't have that. <laughs> like I used all those sheets. So all these little pieces are gonna go together on the front of this card. So what I'm gonna do with this one, and this one was the one by four and three quarters. I'm gonna use that blue side. And I'm gonna put that right about here and I'm just centering it from top to bottom. 
just like that. Next up is going to be the dark one. And this one is the one and a half by four. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of this one. So it goes right up to the middle and it's also centered from top to bottom. And again, this is just an amazing layout. Now this little piece is the one and a half by three and a half. And we're gonna take this and we're now going to bring it over here. Isn't that fun? Like that's just a cool layout. Here comes our handmade tag punch with the boho blue. And we're gonna take our circle and we're gonna put it right, it fits perfectly in here. And I love it when our punches layer up really cool. Sometimes it takes me a while to find that out. Oh, I wanna make sure this, the words are on here straight and then I get this nicely centered. That looks pretty good, right? Grab our dimensionals. And sometimes just quick and easy layouts is so nice to make. Now, I have to tell you guys, the cards that I'm making tonight, for the most part, I believe were swaps that I did. I know this one was. And when I say I believe, I know you guys might find this really hard to believe, but sometimes I can't remember <laughs> if this was a swap. Was this a swap? Did I make this for a swap? And that's why I have gone through so much of this paper. But I love to get swaps in the mail because it gives me all the good ideas. Let's see, does that look centered? I think it needs to go up just a little bit. And I'm just putting that right there. What do you guys think of that layout? Yeah, Mar Maria says, nice looking layout. It really is. <gasps> Mary says she's joining my team this week. Woohoo! I know Alex is planning on joining and... Um, I don't know if Paula's on here or not. She's contacted me about joining. There's lots of people joining. You absolutely will love it. Okay, let's not forget about some embellishments. Oh, hang on. I have one open. I don't want to open that if I have one open. Oh, look. Look, I have two more open. Maybe I should have gotten more designer series paper, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to use the pecan embellishments from here because that's going to best match my card. And I think I'll pop one right in here and then I'll grab a big one and put that right over here and I'll put one more big one. Whoops. Take your pick tool is like an extension of my hand. I love this thing. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Very easy. Now, I want you guys to take this layout and go do some stuff with it because you're going to find that it is just, it's very cool. You change the papers, you change the colors, you change your sentiment, maybe change your label right here. You're going to absolutely love it. The last thing I want to do with this is maybe put some linen thread on here. And I just thought, well, maybe that'll look really nice. Let's try it. I am going to... I think what I'm gonna do, I'm using my bow jig here. And by the way, if you don't have a um, ribbon maker, some type of a ribbon maker, you should think about it. <laughs> because sometimes ribbons can be really, bows can be really frustrating. Now I just cut two pieces here and this bow jig is like so easy. You just flop it over the top. Did you like that? Flop it over the top. Wind it around the top and come back down through and tie a single knot right there. And voila, perfect every single time. I love this thing. They're only $10. That includes shipping. And I don't make any money off of these. Um, I get them from somebody who makes them. They charge me for them. I pay for them. And then I have to put them in an envelope and mail them. So the $10 just covers the cost and the shipping. Okay, so, oh, I oh, what do you guys think? I think I like that right there. I wanna put it right there. Do I wanna, oh, do I wanna throw it up here? What do you think, top or bottom? You let me know. I'm gonna get ready for our next card. Top or bottom? Top or bottom corner? That's what I wanna hear. I'm kinda bossy tonight, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, and 
Let's see, this can go in there. So then I've got a full card going on there. Let me get all these pieces out of the way. Put our linen thread back in here. Top, top, we've got lots of tops. Oh, here comes all the bottoms. <laughs> tops and bottoms. That sounds kind of crazy, right? Tops and bottoms. I better be careful, we could get in trouble by YouTube for saying that. <laughs> oh, did I just say that? I did. Okay. I'm eating peanuts now. Bottom, bottom. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have so many tops and so many bottoms. Good grief. The bills are at 24. <laughs> we get a little football in between the top and the bottom. Okay. I think I'm going to go right there. I think either place is going to be really super cute. I've curled up my mini glue dot because I don't like those sticking out from under these twine things. And I'm going to put it right there. Voila! Look how cute that is. Good grief. Super simple, right? Okay. Now I'm going to grab my next card. This is a fun fold, but it's super duper easy. And I want to hear from you guys that you're making these, okay? Like, I really want to hear from you that you're making them. All right, first things first. Oh, I'm using this stamp set again. I forgot. <laughs> and this was another swap that I made for a fun fold swap. Everybody had to make a fun fold. Okay. Diana says she already saw the game. She won't spoil it. Thank you, Diana. That is very nice of you. <laughs> okay, we've got a Fresh Freesia and Lost Lagoon. I've also got this really nice Lost Lagoon ribbon, you guys. This is called bordered ribbon and this is super soft and lightweight it ties really nice I love this ribbon like I love a good ribbon that gives you you know good results and then oh here's an envelope let me get out all my bits and pieces here I'm also going to be bringing in the thoughtful expression dies I would order these dies even if I didn't like the stamp set which I do but let me see if I can get these all untangled. I know I should be better about this, but I'm lazy. <laughs> and I just, I'm just lazy. I don't, I should use those magnetic things, but I don't. Okay, here we go. You have all of these little circle label deals and they are so pretty. They all nest inside of each other. Look at that, right? There's a gazillion dyes in here. Plus you've got flowers and leaves and then outlines. And, and we have a hummingbird in the stamp set. Thoughtful Expressions is what it's called. All of these labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this label. So it's the second from the smallest and the third from the smallest in the Thoughtful Expressions. Let me see if I can get these back in here without destroying everything. Okay, here comes all of our little bits and pieces. Again, we are still using the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. I'm gonna have to take my sweater off now because I'm starting to get very warm. Maria says she loves the dyes. They are very versatile and pretty. I agree. I agree. So I've die cut. Where did those go? Right here. I've die cut the second from the smallest in white, the third from the smallest in uh, Lost Lagoon. That's what I did here. Thoughtful expressions. Let me put these back. Okay. I've got my envelope. Here's my designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. Oh, I don't think I have dimensions for this one because I should know them. Let's see. Let's see if I know them. Um, four by five and a quarter. We've got a basic white piece that is also four by five and a quarter. I've got a little half inch strip of our designer series paper here. I've got a crumb cake card base that is four and a quarter by 11 and I have scored it at five and a half. And I've lost my bone folder yet again. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Bills up 23 to 20. Oh my gosh. Taylor Swift has to be going crazy. <laughs> right? 
Okay, inside layer. Let's do that first. We'll get that done. And I am going to do the... I really appreciate you. I just want to make sure there's no ink on there. Lost Lagoon ink here, you guys. Try to get this. Oh, let's do a dry fit. We're going to put this right over here. So I want to make room for it, right? I don't want to center this and have it be all weird. Because <laughs> somebody call me out on it. No, they wouldn't. Like, Kelly, I noticed that you put that sentiment right in the middle when you had that strip on the left. If anybody ever did that, mm, no more cards for you. I feel like that soup boss guy on um, Seinfeld. No soup for you. Okay, too much? <laughs> Maybe. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get this over here. Um, here's my card. Whoops. Don't drop the things. We'll put this right on the inside. And there we go. Okay, beautiful. Now, here's the deal. This is our fun fold. I gotta pay attention here so I know what I'm doing. Let me close this. We'll, we'll do a little bit more stamping in a second, but I'm gonna close that so I don't wreck anything. We're gonna bring our paper trimmer in. And we are, this is the inside of our card. This is the front. We are going to cut from here to here. This is probably like one of the easiest fun folds you will ever make. Point to the very edge of our score line. And we're going to cut that like we're a boss. Don't be shy about it. Just cut that baby right off. Now, this is four and a quarter by five and a half, right? This is four by five and a quarter, so it's just a quarter inch smaller. So now we're gonna take this piece and we are going to cut it from top corner to bottom corner. Top corner to bottom corner. You wanna make sure that you have those points in your channel and cut it like a boss. All right, let me get this out of the way. Here we go. So we did this. This part's gonna go right up here so we can get that done right away. Whoops. You're gonna wow your friends with this one, you guys. So here we have the beautiful birds. And you're gonna have your um, your margin all the way around there, right? This is gonna make a nice border. We've got our crumb cake all the way around. Looks great. Now this one was like this, but now we wanna use this side of our designer paper. So we need to turn that over too. This was like this, we're gonna turn this over. This was like this, we're gonna turn it over. And now we're gonna glue this right on here, okay? Oops, let's get that done. Don't put too much glue on the designer paper or you'll get what looks like worms on the other side. Have you guys ever done that? Been there, done that. Nobody wants a wormy card. <laughs> However, if anybody ever says to you, um, your card was a little wormy, you don't give them cards anymore either. because That's uncalled for. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, now this part is going to go right back in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack this and line this up with that bottom. It needs to be perfectly in place. Okay, and now we're going to put glue. Whoops, make sure it stays where it needs to be. We're going to put glue right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue down here. Oops, let me bring this back down here. I'm gonna add some glue down here. Come on, you little glue. This is a little awkward. Just like that. And then I'm gonna add some glue to this corner. And now we're gonna hit both tips. This tip, that tip, glue that baby together. And I'm just gonna make sure this is lined up again because it could have moved while I was messing around and yickety yakking. Yep. 
give it a little bit to set up. There we go. Look at that. Is that totally cool? How easy was that, right? Okay, now we gotta we gotta put something in the middle here, and that this is what we're gonna do. I, I'm again going to use this was the I appreciate you. Where's my hello there? I think it was in the last one. Hang on. Here's my hello there. I'm gonna make sure it's clean. And I am going to use the Lost Lagoon on this label. I'm going to stamp this right like that. Yay! Okay, did that. Now I'm going to grab Fresh Freesia because there's Fresh Freesia in here. And of course, it is one of the colors in all of the coordinating colors with the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. So I decided I wanted to put a little bit of something on my um, label. And I thought some little flowers would be really cute. So let's see what that looks like. Where's the scrap? Where did my white scrap go? Hang on, let me grab another one. I would hate to run out. <laughs> yeah, I wanna see what this looks like. Okay, so I don't necessarily like those. Those are buds, they go with something else. So we're gonna be a little careful and we're only gonna ink up a flower because the buds are gonna go on the envelope but they're not really appropriate for me on my label. So I'm just inking up that one little flower and I'm gonna put that right there. Look how cute that is. I like it. Okay. And then let me clean this off again. I'm going to get any residue off of there. And I think I'll do this little flower right up there. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Then let's get that put together. Oh, I'm going to leave that open. We're gonna put this on here. And whoops, these nest together. They're so pretty and I love the stitching around them. They're just very elegant, right? And um, I should have got the stamp set out. Let me grab it because it's really pretty. Hummingbirds. Um, here it is. I found it. Don't worry. Look at how pretty this is. This is the stamp set that goes with the dies. So you can see there's a flower and there's a die to cut that out. There's some specific like leaves and stuff. And uh, those are really pretty too. All kinds of great things with all those labels. There's a die to cut out that hummingbird, a die to cut this out. I think there's even a die to cut this out, but some really pretty fonts. It's a gorgeous bundle. So just in case you want to see the whole thing. Um, now you have to be careful where you put your dimensionals because you don't want them to be here so your card doesn't open, right? So what I did is I kind of set my label down here and took a little look at it and I put my dimensional on the actual card front Oops. <laughs> instead of instead of on the back of my label. But I know that this side of my label on the back is going to be fine, right? That's not going to interfere with opening. And now we can just set that right in here. And here's our card that opens. And then let's see. Um, I used the gold gems before, but I don't know if I really want those. So let's take a look. Let's see what Kelly has in her little embellishment heaven here. I want to find something maybe... Ooh, those would be pretty. Those green ones from the Festive Pearls, those are really pretty. 
Ooh, we've got these too. Oh, those are always oh, so pretty, aren't they? Those are my favorite. <laughs> I use those a lot. And I think, you guys, that we are going to roll. Oh, uh, but then we've got these too. I think we're going to go with what we got. Should we go with the pearls? We've got these green ones here. Those would probably look pretty. Or we can do the iridescent rhinestones. You let me know. And then we've got an envelope here. Uh, here's my envelope. If anybody's new to me, I love to decorate my envelopes, whether it's stamping on the front, embossing the flap, or covering them with designer series paper. So I'm going to do designer series paper here. I cut my designer series paper two and a half by six. I put glue on my envelope flap and then I just use that flap as a guide to be able to cut right around to make an absolutely beautiful flap. That matches my card. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay, hang on. Um, oh, I need to stamp this. I need to stamp these envelopes because I have a sample that I made that I don't have an envelope for. So what I was going to do here was stamp the whole flower. I've got the Lost Lagoon and I'm going to stamp that right here and I'm going to do it on the other one also. Even though I covered the flap, it's still going to be pretty, right? And then I think this goes like this. Here comes all those little flowers in the Fresh Freesia. And again, I'm looking at the buds for placement and then I move the other flowers around. Let's see if I'm doing this good. Yep, that looks really good. <gasps> Look at how that lines up. It's just like magic every time, just like magic. So we've got a whole bunch of pearls and a whole bunch of rhinestones. Can you guys get on the same page? Seriously. I'm just kidding. Okay, I see lots of pearls. I'm going to go with the pearls. <laughs> Isn't that funny how um, different answers are? Which I love. Look at perfect. Perfect. I love this. Okay, let me close this up. And close this up. Oh, you know what? I forgot my ribbon. So... Hang on, because we're going to tear this apart because I really like the ribbon. And don't worry, we can fix it. No big deal. Yep, Kelly's got lots of dimensionals. Let's just pull this right off of there. Get this one off there. Good grief, Kelly. What were you thinking? I really love the ribbon. Okay, so we're going to do this. I kind of call this a cancer bow, right? Because that's what a cancer bow looks like. And I am going to add that right behind my label here. That looks really good. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is put a bunch of tape on the back of my label because you're going to be able to see part of it, and then it's going to look all bleh, right? So I thought what I'd do is grab these handy-dandy little mini glue dots. I want to keep this in place and not have to reposition it. Hang on here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little mini glue dot right there to hold my ribbon. <laughs> Sometimes, right? Sometimes the things we do to make things be right. And then I'm going to put one right there. Look at that. That's going to hold that right in place, just like that. That's perfect. And now we'll use some more dimensionals. And I'm gonna put one right over here where it was before. I can see where it was. And then we'll put one right here. Oh, did that get too close to the edge? Maybe, hang on. Oh, let's do one right over here. There we go. And another one right there. I wanna make sure that that's hitting the cardstock and not just the ribbon because that'll be dumb. <laughs> I don't like it when things flop around when there's ribbon involved, right? Okay, so Alex had a problem and she fixed it. I missed your problem, Alex, but this 
community of stampers is they know more than I do about the YouTube live fixing problems. So thank you guys for helping Alex. She is brand new to us. I think maybe last week or the week before. Okay, so look at that ribbon. This is so pretty. And I'm going to do this with my super duper sharp ribbon scissors. And now we got to do embellishments. We said pearls, right? I'm going to go with pearls. I like to have my pearls outside of that packaging so that I can see all of them. Because you don't even know there's red ones in here until you do that, which annoys me. And let's do, boom. Oh, yeah, this was a good choice. The rhinestones would have been really pretty, too. You know they would. There we go. And we have a million of these, so I'm just going to speckle some more on here because why not? Let's just do maybe one more there. I don't want them to look like they're all like, meh all over the place, right? Okay, guys, here we go. Ah, super duper easy fun fold. So all you do is your card front, you cut from the score line down to the bottom corner, flip it over, do the same with your paper, bam. Now, you do have to pay attention to which way you're cutting your designer paper if you have a definite pattern. Like this has a definite pattern, so I just looked at that and cut it. This doesn't have a definite pattern, so that wouldn't even matter, right? But you do have to pay attention to that when you're getting ready to cut, because I have cut it the wrong way. And it's not, it's a little painful, right? When you cut designer series paper wrong, like you're going, oh, what did I do? Okay, so there's our second card. And let me see, I think I whipped up one more card. Where did it go? It's here somewhere. Here it is. Okay. All right, you guys, if you're coming in late, please give me a thumbs up. I always, always appreciate that. I need a thumbs up. Share my video. That's always appreciated. Okay, so this is a card that I really didn't finalize yet. So this could be a huge, like, oh, my good Lord, what is she doing? <laughs> I hope it's not. This is our softly stippled designer series paper. And I just wanted to give you guys some ideas with all this celebration stuff, right? And you pick and choose, you know that, it's always up to you. But you're gonna find the softly stippled paper right here, it's on page eight of the brochure. And again, it is free with a $50 order. Now there is a bundle that matches it. And when I got ready to use this paper tonight, I've used the paper before, but I haven't used the bundle. I found that I ordered the stamp set and not the dies. So that was fun because I did a lot of searching trying to find the dies that weren't ever going to be found. But don't worry because I'm like, now what am I going to do? I came up with the card anyways. So the paper's beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna set this stamp set off to the side. I am using the sentiment in it. And I'm going to bring in here, one of the coordinating colors is the Pebbled Path. So I'm gonna bring that in. I might use this or I might use this. I'm not sure yet. Two very different looks, right? Let me get my bin out here. Oh, I'm definitely using these. So these are the everyday detail dies, and goodness grief, these are so pretty. So these make holes when you die cut. And um, hang on, where's my cardstock? Oh, right here. I've got all my pieces, all my little pieces. Okay, so I've got an envelope and a piece of designer series paper for that. I've also got a thick white card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. I really like our thick card bases for white and vanilla because our regular white and vanilla cardstock is thinner and it has a nice sheen to it. It's fabulous for stamping on, but not so good for card bases. This makes them a lot more sturdy. So I chose this designer series paper from the softly stippled. Let me bring that back in here so you can really see it. We've got some really neat textures and patterns in here. This is like linen. I know that we used this during the um, catalog kickoff. If you were in there, this paper, so much fun. But some really good textures and patterns in here along with the florals and the leaves. Very, very pretty. So I've got 
three and three quarters by five. And then I cut some um, Calypso coral that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we're just gonna layer these two together. This again is a very quick and easy card. And the paper, the designer paper is free. And I love free. Okay, so that's gonna go on here. Then I've got a scrap of the same designer paper. This is what's on the back, and I thought, well, that would be fun to just stamp right on that. So we are going to stamp congratulations. That's another type of card that I need because I send out prizes, right? And um, I send a lot of prizes out to my team. I have lots of drawings. Um, some of the things my team does, they're entered in it because they've achieved something. But most of the time, it's because they participated. And participate in a card challenge, participate in our team meeting. I give away all kinds of prizes for things like that. And so I, I would love to be able to have enough cards that say the right thing to send out. So congratulations is something that I'm, this is my New Year's resolution is to make more cards to send out with prizes because sometimes that there's not enough hours in the day. So I'm gonna take the second from the smallest die from the Everyday Details dies and I'm going to die cut this right on the designer paper. And here's what that looks like. Isn't that cool looking? All those dots. It's like big dots, not like stitches, but big dots. Then this piece, this is seven eighths of an inch by five and a half. And it, again, is the designer series paper and it's got a nice pattern on it, like a watercolor painted pattern. I'm gonna take this crazy looking die and I'm gonna die cut that right on this layer, okay? And when I do that, it looks like this, which I love. How fun is that? Okay, let me move these out of the way. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to mount this particular sentiment frame on another layer or if I wanted to keep it by itself. So, we're gonna do some things with some twine, but do we wanna do that and just pop it up on dimensionals? Or do we wanna put it on a layer of Calypso coral that matches the card base? And I'm thinking I wanna pop this up on dimensionals, whether I use this layer or not. So what do you guys think? You let me know. I'm gonna put this away. And while you're, while you're contemplating that, I am going to look for that other stamp set that goes with that bundle. And I just saw it and hang on, I'll be right back. It's here someplace. It's got a bird nest in it and a vase. Oh, I looked right by it. I looked at it and I kept going. This one, this is the stamp set that goes with this set of dies. So this really doesn't have anything to do with this, but it is a bundle and these are beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, isn't that pretty? Everyday details, but I love, love, love these. I haven't used this yet, but I will. Okay, layer it, layer it, layer it, layer it. It gets lost without the layer. Okay, you all agreed, Sue says. We all agreed. Yes, you did. And again, I think I'm gonna pop this up on dimensionals because then you're going to be able to it's just going to give so much depth to those those um holes right at least that's what i thought i thought that was a cool look okay let me get this i gotta see what i'm doing here my crown is trying to fall off and you know we all stand better with a crown on right uh yeah we do oh <gasps> look how cool that is right you guys i love that that's raised up like that okay so we've got that going on we haven't done anything on the inside. We got this. Now, my next question, I didn't know if I wanted to use the pebbled path on here because that does have a good contrast, right? Pebbled path or 
Hang on. <laughs> it's a little bit thicker twine. Or if we wanted to go with the Calypso Coral, and I just feel like this is getting lost, right? I need to go with the Pebbled Path. Do you guys agree? Good night, Alex. You can finish watching the replay, no problem. Use the cardstock mat. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ruth. Yep. Pebbled path. Oh, somebody said both. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder what that would look like. I don't know if I like that. That was a good, good idea. But it just still kind of gets lost. I'm going to go with the pebbled path. And... I think what, I'm, what my idea was to wrap it around, let's put this on the card now. If we're gonna go with that, I think we're gonna go all the way around the card. Like wrap it all the way around. Let's see what that looks like. Thank you guys for helping me do my job. <laughs> Is it too much? Am I asking too much of you? I don't think so. Okay, so I didn't know if I wanted to just wrap it around once and tie like a bow or something. I'll kind of do it down here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Put it on the long one. What does that mean? Have you tried wild wheat? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. Wild wheat. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh. See what that looks like. Oops. Here, I got a piece. Oh, I must have un. I must have unwound a piece. Oh, what do you guys think of that? Wild wheat. Okay. Put it. Only put it on. The DSP, okay, no bow, okay. Wild wheat, wild wheat, wild wheat. I see lots of wild wheat. Where is the long clips of coral? Oh, that's going on the inside. Don't worry about that. I love helping with the creative process. Okay, wild wheat. Joe says pebbled path still. I think wild wheat is winning. Wild wheat is winning. Okay, so should I do that? Maybe only use one strand? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I just pulled it apart. I must have nicked it. I nicked it. Okay, that's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm only going to put it on this layer. And Margine says, go wild. Okay. And I think we're going to tie this in a knot. And only on this layer. All right, I'm in. Here we go. You guys are so helpful. I wish you guys were in my room. You could like sit on my shoulder and go, no, Kelly, do this. Yes, do that. That would be really helpful. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll pull that over a little bit. And I think I'm going to, final decision, boom. And we're going to take this and we're going to raise that up on dimensionals. I don't know if I really like that. But it's done is done. We're going to be okay with it. We're going to put this on dimensionals because that twine is kind of thick. It works really good on the scalloped gift card boxes. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> okay. Kathy, I knew what you meant. Kathy said she really spelled that wrong. I knew exactly what you meant. Okay, here comes my congratulations. This is a pretty card, though. I think I do like that. I think I'm, it's growing on me. You know what I think I want to do? I think I want to fray these ends. I want to cut them a little bit shorter. And be careful because these scissors are sharp. I'm going to pull them apart. That's going to give them a little more, maybe, a little more foof. There's your second redneck word of the day. Does your card have any foof? Mine has some foof. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking I like that. So I'm just using my take your pick tool to kind of pull the strands. 
so that they're not wound. Oh, look at that. Or you could do this. <laughs> or you could just do that, Kelly. There we go. That helps it. Kind of hard to get a hold of. Yeah, there we go. I just want to separate them a little bit more so they're kind of like frizzy hair. Hippie hair. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do our card base. Get that out of there. Whew. Let me wipe that on my pants. And here comes our pretty card base. That kind of pulls it all together, doesn't it? It's like, oh, there's the final details. Now, I got to make sure that that sticks on here. This piece, I'm going to leave my inside blank so I can write my message, but this piece is going to go right inside. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the very edge. I don't want to get glue poking out of those little holes, right? Last night we went out to eat for Steve's birthday, finally. We were going to go last weekend, but um, Vicky was sick, and she's Mike's wife, and it's important that she bees there, too. She bees there, listen to my English, that she can also attend. <laughs> and, um, oh my gosh, I ate too much. I ate too much. I had the old fashions. I ate too much food, and then I ordered a grasshopper. It was delightful, but what was I thinking? Look at how pretty that is, you guys. <gasps> I love this. Very, very pretty. Now, we have an envelope, so I gotta do some things with that. I'm gonna use this. Oh, I could have um, die cut this thing. You could die cut that thing through here and put it on your envelope, too. I'm not going to, but you could. But yeah, so I loved the homemade potato chips. We went to, um, I think it's called TJ's Harbor Bar and Grill. It's down by Oshkosh for those of you that are local. It's on the lake. It's beautiful. They've completely remodeled it. It used to be like a dive. And now it's just gorgeous. We went there for dinner and I had the blackened mahi mahi tacos and oh they're so good and then I ordered homemade potato chips their potato chips are so thin you could probably read through them but they were the best homemade potato chips I've ever had but here's the deal I'm like people it's just potato chips and you gave me like a little handful with this expensive meal I'm like why don't you give me more more potato chips so I ordered an order of them because that wasn't enough <laughs> I was almost dying. I ate so much. It was bad, you guys. I came home and I was just felt like a whale. Anyways, we were home by nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, we're real party animals. What do you guys think? That turned out pretty nice, right? Oh, we need some embellishments. Uh, I think we could do these. I think we could maybe do these. Let's see. Let's see what one looks like. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I'm liking it. Here we go. Boop, boop, be doop. These are also free during celebration. Mm, I don't know where to go with this. I'll go right there. That looks interesting, doesn't it? Okay, check that out. All right, let me clean up my mouse. Hey, somebody told me to get um, uh, translucent post-it notes. And so I did, and I put them over here. Um, I see that I kind of missed my mark. <laughs> Let me try that again. These are post-it notes. And I did that to cover up the glare from my lights. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That was a really cool idea. So whoever shared that, was it Sherry? Um, whoever shared that, it was a pretty brilliant idea. Yeah, they're clear post-it notes. It's so weird. Never heard of such a thing. Anyways, let me pull some of the stuff back. And, gosh, who's going to come clean up this big mess I made? 
Here is our softly stippled card. And here is our flight and airy card. And another flight and airy card. Super easy, you guys. Weren't these easy? Super duper easy. Easy fun fold. Fabulous layout. And then uh, I love this paper. It's really pretty. I like that you can stamp right on it. Like this gray is the back of this. And you can stamp right on that. You could stamp right on this. You can stamp on all of these. This one might be a little tricky. But the rest of them you can stamp right on the back. Absolutely gorgeous. All celebration stuff. So I just wanted to share some great ideas because I know you guys are getting these celebration items and I need to share ideas what you're going to do with them. Okay, I have mail. Are you guys ready for mail? <laughs> My fingernails look like grasshoppers. They do kind of, don't they? I love the little flower on there. Can you guys see that? Let's see if I can get some light in there. Uh, yeah, there we go. That pretty little flower. Yay. Oh, Flo loves how I clean up. I know I'm it's a disaster. When I am done, Flo, it is just a horrible disaster. And I do. I just keep shoving stuff over. And you know what? There's not enough time to be careful about stuff like that because here's the deal. You guys will get bored and you'll shut your camera off and go, oh, I don't know what she's doing now. Like, it's very annoying to watch somebody who doesn't keep things going. Um, at least that's the way I feel about it. So here we go. Ready? <gasps> This just came. Nancy Delavue. Look at how pretty that is. That's that stencil set from our last mini catalog. Absolutely beautiful. Right? And she got the Wild Fern Bundle. She was one of the door prize winners. So yay. Thank you so much, Nancy. Your card is absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're going to get through this mail because I need to get through this mail. <gasps> Becky Busca. I still got Christmas cards, you guys. And I did open all of these and loved them. Look at how pretty that is. That little light bulb set was amazing. This is from Be Becky Busca. I absolutely love that. Then I got this from Shannon West. She is a um, demonstrator development manager with Stampin' Up. I love Shannon. She's my person. Anytime I have a a weird question or a suggestion or I need some ideas. I go, Shannon, you got any ideas for me? Or she'll just message me out of blue and go, Kelly, is there anything I can help you with? Because she knows how busy we are and how hard we work. But she sent me this congratulations card. I love. Now, this is the stippled roses that this paper is named for. That's the stamp that she used on here. I didn't even realize that. And that glimmer paper... Uh, congratulations on another incredible year. I am so happy for you and grateful for all you do. Happy holidays to you and yours from Shannon. So Shannon, you're the best. The best. And then Steve got this card from Judy Chanock Neams. Judy, he loved this card. He opened it up and proudly displayed it on the counter. I said, who'd you get that card from? He's like, a lady. <laughs> I go, why did you open it? It was addressed to me. Yeah. So, and it was a card for the loss of his mom and the garage. So he really, he was really touched by that. Thank you so much. Next, we have Bonnie Kelly. Oh my gosh. Is this not adorable? I think Joe was just asking me for some ideas with this, um, with this mailbox set. Here you go. Super duper cute. And um, she won some designer series paper that I gave away. So you are very welcome. I think this one's from Noreen Harrell. Hang on. Yes, it is. This is from Noreen Harrell. And Noreen, I love that you put a photograph of your family in here. That was awesome. I'm like, oh, look at that happy family. So yeah, beautiful card. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to keep going here. And, um, and I got, I got a uh, family newsletter from Noreen and I loved that because I like to learn about you guys. You guys know all the things about me <laughs> to the man who does everything. Steve had a birthday on Tuesday 
And this was a card from Priscilla. And I love, I love what she did with this. It's so like manly, right? It's a super cool layout. It's very clean and crisp. Love this. Steve proudly displayed that on the counter also. And then my mom sent Steve this card, which she got from me because I give her cards to use. <laughs> Love, Mom. Yeah, that was sweet. My mom. My mom's furnace went out last night and last week. They thought they had it all fixed, but it needed another part. Ugh, always when it's frigid out. This is from Julie Hillsman. Julie, your card is beautiful. I love the book fold, right? I love how she used the stripes over here. But how pretty is that? Absolutely gorgeous. And this little jewel is from Cynthia Cordrick. How pretty is that? I love the little reindeer and that foil tree is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Cynthia. Next we have... Sharon Taylor. Ugh, this is beautiful. I love musical notes. I can't play anything to save my butt, but I love musical notes. I love the embossing folders, the stamps. Very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Sharon. Next, we have Joanne Prosser. Look at this. This is fun, right? This has a belly band on it. And then it opens up like this. Isn't that pretty? Love your card. How cool. Belly band. Beautiful. Next, we have Fafana Tasai. I hope I say your name right. I say that every time, but look at how pretty that is. <gasps> yeah, one of the card kits. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Next. Oh, this one's cool. This is from Nancy Vols. Nancy, you are a treasure. Look at that shaker card. Super, super cool. Beautiful card. Love it. Can you find the squirrels? <laughs> Nancy, there's no squirrels in there. <laughs> Nancy always likes to tease me about squirrels, and I love it. Then we have Kathleen Bryson. Beautiful, beautiful card, Kathleen. This is so pretty. I love her handwriting. It's very, like... Yeah, it's a little crazy, but she's a little crazy too. And I know she'll get a giggle out of that. That's the kind of person she is. Next up, we have Marlene. Hang on. Marlene Murphy. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it goes like this. This is a crown for Steve's toolbox. Is this not fun? I love this tool set. I just used it. When I get back, I am going to share the most awesome card ever that I've probably ever made with you guys. Yeah, this is from Marlene Murphy. Steve needs a crown for his toolbox, <laughs> so you won't be forgotten. Maybe John will want to borrow it. <laughs> Super cute. Thank you so much. I got a big giggle out of that. Next up, we have Trudy Hudson. Trudy, this is just adorable. I love the shimmer paper for your icebergs, right? Isn't that fun? Next, oh, these lights. They're just, I loved these. I absolutely loved these. Hang on. This is from Donna and Bill Myers. Super, super cute card. I wish those would have carried over. They didn't carry over, did they? I wish they would have. All right, we got some more mail. I said I'm going to get through all of it tonight. What time is it? It's 8.30. We're doing okay. This one is from Shelly Sapp. Look how pretty that is, you guys. This is like a little note card. Love that she used these, the note cards and envelopes. Beautiful card. Next, we have Karen Slewinski. Oh, so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Love your card. Then I have Lisa Dodd. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I love the deckled circle on there. And then she cut it into strips. Isn't that fun? Beautiful. Lisa dropped me a note. She said, just wanted to tell you how much I enjoy Stamp Happy Academy and all the extra videos, classes, and PDFs. I get a lot of inspiration from you, Dina and Barb. In fact, the design for this card came from one of Barb's videos. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Lisa, thank you so much. We so appreciate hearing things like that. 
Next up, Yvonne Batsall. Oh, so pretty. Love this card. Absolutely beautiful. I love that sentiment. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It makes me want to break out in song every time. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this gorgeous card, you guys. This is from Luba. Luba sends cards for the kids, cards for Steve, cards for Haley and Jared, cards for Molly. We love Luba. And this is a golfer and it's all like layered in different colors. It's so cool. Happy birthday to Steve. Tea time. Isn't that fun? Luba, you're the best. And then we have, uh, oh, that was one of my gift card holders. <laughs> That's not mail. Oh, I think I have a couple of those in here because I put them in the bag to go upstairs. Hang on, we have more. I said we're going to get through all this mail. This is from Julie Callis. Look at that. These were um, some cards that came in a whole pack from the Holiday Mini Catalog. I think they're still available too. But yeah, they're foil. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how pretty they were. Yeah, this is beautiful, Julie. Thank you so much. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is the envelopes that came with them. Look at how pretty that is, right? Gorgeous. Oh, that was for my gift card. Hang on. I saved those. Oh, yeah, this was another one. Did you guys ever see this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, Santa Paws. This is from Betty Clark. Betty, look at how cute that is. Super, super cute. I loved this set. So pretty. Next, we have... Hang on a second. Uh, look at this. Look at how pretty that... This is just so elegant, isn't it? Oh, this is another. Barn door, maybe, if that's what they're called. Christine Andrade. Oh, so pretty, right? It's just beautiful. I think you guys are some pretty good card makers. <laughs> yep, yep you are. Oops, hang on, I gotta get this back on here. It wasn't tight coming off, there we go. I just didn't have it in the right spot. Isn't that gorgeous? Here comes another one. This is from Claudia Padome. Claudia, I loved your snowman card. It is absolutely adorable. Thank you so much for thinking of us. Next up. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, this was that Winter Meadows or Magic Meadows, Mag Magical Meadows. I loved this. I actually did an online class that's on Stamp Happy Academy with this. Beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you, Lori Kraus. Lori is one of my good friends from Michigan. Oh, she makes beautiful cards. Anytime I'm in a like rut, I, I like message Lori. Lori, you got any samples with XYZ? And boy, off they come. She will pop them over to me. This one is from Joe Williams. Look how cute that card is. She used designer series paper here and then stamped this up. And that's pretty genius, right? Absolutely love it. Beautiful card, Joe. Thank you. Next up is, I think, Debbie Bach. Yep, Debbie Bach. Debbie just rejoined my team. I'm so excited to have her back. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, I love it. Beautiful card, Debbie. Thank you so much. Next, we have Terry Melano. Melanex. I say her name wrong all the time. She knows I can't say it. <laughs> Terry, this is awesome. Look at how fun that is. Ah, love it. Great card. And this one is from Shirley Jones. Wow, watch this. Ah, I have, this is the second one. Well, I think probably the third one of these I have. And I am going to make you guys one of these so you'll know how to do this. It is so fun. Love your card, Shirley. Thank you so much. Next up, we have some air mail coming in from Australia. This is my friend Lynn Fontaine from Australia. Of course, she sent me a koala. It's not a koala bear. These are marsupials. I got my butt handed to me one time because I kept calling them koala bears. So... These are just koalas and they're marsupials. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I love getting cards from Lynn. Okay, so I got some empty envelopes there. We're almost there, you guys. Just a couple more things. Oh, that's another gift card holder that I put on the stairs. Go upstairs. Here comes the horse and sleigh dies. 
horse and sleigh dies. And this was sent by Barbara Savoring. Barbara, she wanted me to donate it because um, I think she ordered two or I don't know what happened. Maybe um, it got ordered by accident. I remember she told me what happened, but horse and sleigh dies. We are definitely going to give those away. Not tonight, but we will. Here comes another package. Oh, wait, I got some more stuff down here. I got all this in a bag, you guys. Oh, these are my envelopes. These are my gift cards. Okay, yep, mm, yep, mm -hmm. yep, okay. Oh, wait, I gotta make sure this one isn't a card. It's not. All right, two more packages, and then we're good to go. So this one came in from Polly Libby. Polly, Polly sent these to be donated. We have the Enduring Beauty Decorative Masks and the Adorning Hearts Hybrid Embossing Folder with the dies. And look at this beautiful card. Holly is, she makes some beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. Two of each were ordered in air. Please use these items for prizes. Polly, you are so sweet to do that. Thank you so much. I'll leave your card right there. I'm gonna set these over here. I like to put a note on them so that when I give them away, I know who I got them from. Okay, this is the end of the bag, people. So you got to see this. These are hysterical. Oh, I think there was a note in here, and now there's not. Hang on. Uh, Carmen. Carmen. These are all little squirrel things. These are squirrel ornaments. This is a little squirrel toy. Because you guys know how I say squirrel. It's the little kitchen. Look at how cute it is. Ah! Uh, here's a little nut. Here's a little nut and an acorn. Squirrel and an acorn. Look at how cute that is. We got some lot of squirrel stuff going on here. Here's another little keychain. Super cute. These are so soft, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. And this one is my favorite. I've actually already taken this out and played with it. Because this is like a place you can set your little squirrel on the little tree trunk, or you can go like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that not so funny? Oh wait, now he's stuck. Oh, he's he's dying. There we go. Don't kill. I killed the squirrel. I killed him. What happened? I wrecked him. Ah. Ah. I killed the squirrel. Oh, good grief. I'm going to have to have Steve fix it. What happened? I sucked all the air out of him right there. I'll fix him. Don't worry. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. This was such a fun night. Now... Just so you know, I have to take pictures of these and put them on my blog. I'm not sure I'll get that done tonight. I'm just going to put it right out there. Here is my host code. If you would like to place an order with me, I would love to earn your business. You will also be privy when your order hits $35. You're going to get this card kit. When you use that host code, you have to use the code. If you forget to use the code and you get done with your order and you go, oh, shoot, I forgot to use the code, just pop me an email. I'll tell you how to fix it. But yeah, cute, cute, cute. This is good until the 31st of January. I will not be live next Sunday on January 28th. I will be packing, probably crying while I'm packing to come back home. Not that I don't love being here, but you know, <laughs> tropical beaches, fufu drinks, uh, yeah. Or freezing cold 30 below zero in Wisconsin. Well, yeah, it's, it's hard, right? It's hard not to love all that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. It has been so fun to spend the evening with you. I really, really appreciate um, the time that you take to spend Sunday evenings with me. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you for the well wishes on the vacation. I am super excited. I hope we don't get stuck in Chicago tomorrow because they're calling for bad weather. In Chicago, not here. It's going to be 30 degrees and no snow here, but wouldn't you know it. Anyways, 
Have yourselves a great uh, couple weeks. I will see you when I get back. Watch Facebook. I'm sure I'll be posting photos. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.